they're ready. And they sprinting away from the 1200 meter marker. Bon Vivant got off to a good start from a wide draw. Has gone right up there with Bard of Avon and Captain Hindsight. They are the three early leaders away from the 1200 to the thousand. They go kicked away about four lengths from Paisley Park. Litigation races behind those. Further back in the field, we've got uh, behind that Infinite Wonder, Star Coin, MK's Pride, eight lengths off the leader. Team Gold and Dice are the back two, and they race nine lengths off them now. Down the strip they come with 700 to go, and Bon Vivant has a plane to catch the leader. Gone clear by a couple from Captain Hindsight. Bard of Avon is right there, too. In behind those is towards the inside Paisley Park. MK's Pride further back. Litigation, four to lengths to make up. And behind those comes Infinite Wonder. Entering the last 350 metres, it's Bon Vivant. Bard of Avon comes home strongly. Captain Hindsight, Paisley Park is right down the inside. Then came Litigation, Starcoin and MK's Pride. Dice has also come from last. And here comes Dice absolutely tearing away from them. Here comes Dice with a great looking performance the last hundred. And Dice goes on strongly to beat Captain Hindsight. Third to Paisley Park, close for fourth. Infinite Wonder or Bon Vivant. Well, look at Dice just weaving its way through, currently in about 7th or 8th placing, in the orange and black colours, just finds a way through between runners over here. And whilst it was all going on up front between the Captain Hindsight and Bon Vivant, here comes Dice. And this is a great performance by Dice. Lucky Udalak is the winning trainer. Hasn't run since the 2nd of January, so almost nine-month break. Raced fresh, and the William Longsword Entire has come through to win it well. Made a certain statement for the feature season coming up in Joburg in the next two months or so. Well done. Connections of Dice will be very happy with that. Probably the performance of the afternoon. Dice, like I said, put him in the black book. There's no doubt that there's bigger races to come with this individual. He's been off the track 267 days. I thought well handled by Cabello Mazzagnani. Looked after him in the early parts of the race, and he's just accelerated like a smart horse into that last two, 300 metres. Well done to Davy Shaw. It's good to have Mr. Shaw at the course today, and of course to Lucky Udalakas and his entire team, his family. I know it's been a long, hard road with this individual because um, they think the world of him and I'm hoping today he's made that statement just to show everybody how good he is. Uh, well done Cabello I thought you handled him beautifully. I know you were looking for some running room going through the 300 uh, but he's just a very smart horse that's got a good turn of foot. Yes he's certainly a very smart horse and he's got a lot of ability and as I mentioned in my previous interview that if he has to win today it'll be on natural ability and he brought his best to the track um, even before the race he was, in his, he was on his best behavior which um, just made me feel more confident on top of him. Even when, when I, where I was in the race, um, I didn't feel too panic. I spoke to Craig Zaki before the race. He actually gave me the confidence that I shouldn't panic on him. It doesn't matter where he's sitting. As long as he's comfortable and not pull him too hard, he should fetch them. And that's exactly what he did. From the 300, I was just picking my gaps. And he looked to lag in a little bit, allowed him to do that. And also gives him more confidence going between horses. As soon as I got that gap uh, between Captain Hindsight, I mean, I knew it was race over from there. And I mean, it was a very confident win. And I'm very happy with him today. First time riding him and I'm glad it was a victory. Well, Cabello was speaking to Chase, who ran second with Captain Hindsight. And he said, this horse came past me like I was looking for parking because um, he, was, he thought he was going well enough to win the race. And whoosh, he went on by. So he's obviously a horse that we need to remember. I'm sure he's a horse you want to stick with. Good to be getting opportunities from Lucky. And like I said, all the time. Um, He's just a man that knows how to produce them, and he's had horses like JJ the Jet play, and I believe Evaristo is going to come and have a word with me. So well done to you and well done to the whole team. Yes, um, I must mention to Mr. Odlakis, big thanks to him, to Mr. Shaw. Um, I've had a huge success with Mr. Odlakis over my apprenticeship years, and he's always been there in my career, and I appreciate all the support that he gives me and the opportunities. And I'm happy that I can always produce and just be there for the team. And I mean, to the whole team back home, big thanks to them, well done to the whole team. They're doing a great job on the source. I mean, he's always been a nice source. We've always rated him in South Africa, and he's definitely got more to come from him. And from today's win, I'm sure he's going to come on tons. And yeah, to my sponsors, Uniform, also big thanks to them. Cabello, well done on the double. Thank you. Super, there we go. That's Cabello Matsunyane, who's handled this horse beautifully. I must say, well done to you, Lux. Um, I know it's been a long, hard road. A horse that you've always said, listen, the sky's the limit. If we can stay on top of him, I'm sure we'll see some bigger races to come. Yeah, um, look, it's not a case that he's a horse who's 
unsoundness problems. I mean, it was both his injuries have been two completely different injuries, and yeah, I don't know. I suppose it's just the card you get dealt with. An injury is an injury. It is what it is. Um, so yeah, I, the biggest well done must go to obviously to Dave. It's an injury. We've done. We've got to. So basically, just when you fix him, you fix him, and you know, there's no point in having a horse like this and start programming him before you've even brought him back. Yes, so sure. That's the biggest bonus that I have in Dave letting me, when he runs, he'll run. And he had no pressure on him yet today. When lose or draw, it was all just a stepping stone. Um, he's just come along in his own way. Obviously, this is just his natural. Like when I looked at the field, I said he's the best horse in the race, but um, as a sprinter. But um, yeah, it's, I'm just so happy. Well done. He rides him every single day. And yeah, he was very above himself at home. Well, every morning, it's like he, we've got to do things to get him home and whatnot. So I was very nervous about him, but he behaved like an absolute gentleman. Obviously, until he came, yeah, he wouldn't walk on uh, cement. So, um, but yeah, well done to my whole team, again to Dave. And yeah, I, I couldn't be more happier. Lux, probably an unfair question, but in terms of percentage-wise of fitness, where would you say you had him today? Um... Well, certainly nowhere near ready. I mean, this kind of horse, I, I don't gallop him with other horses. He okay. just goes, he does his own thing. And I just sort of listen to how he's blowing. And I just thought, you know what, I think he's done enough to come. The race will tell me where I am with him. So he's definitely got improvement. Lux, I must say, well done. One runner, one winner. 100% no, strike rate. I think Battleground's scratched later. No, we had one earlier um, in the Blue Moon. That's also, right. Never, yeah, ran a decent race. Yeah, ran a, a decent race. race. Yeah. So I couldn't be happier. Well done to my whole team. And... Yeah, mate, keep going and old thumbs, we got accident free now. Lux, thank you very much. Here's 5,000 Rand from Betway. Yeah, you've heard him say money. <laughs> well done, Lux. <clears throat> All right, so we're going to get the winning connection in. Davey Shaw, congratulations. Patience, you, that's you. what it's all about. You taught me that early. You said, listen, don't rush with this game. Apologise, Davey. You can take it over. But I am going to rush Lucky to buy me a drink with that yeah. 5,000 rand. So I hope he can cash it now. <laughs> no, just uh, well done to Lucky and the team. And uh, he's got off the phone now with uh, Natalie and uh, the whole family are watching at home. And they're actually in tears. Lexi was in tears when he won. So I know he's very dear to their heart. He's dear to all of our hearts. And uh, yeah, I think big kudos to Lucky and the team. Everisto, uh, Abel, um, you know, they, they're the guys looking after this guy. And I know he's a handful at times, but they've, uh, yeah, they've put in the hard work and the, they've, yeah, and this is the, what's paying off. So yeah, let's see from you. I could see the joy on your face straight afterwards because uh, there's always pressure with these horses. I know you've got high expectations, but uh, you must have been very happy with the way you turned it on today. Yeah, 100%. To be honest, I wasn't expecting a win. Uh, I thought he would. Definitely need the run, um, but uh, yeah, like like you said, best horse in the race. Um, if uh, and there's somebody standing over there, one of the jockeys, uh, Craig Zaki. If he lost one and a half kilos, you could have ridden the horse. But uh, yeah, no, it was. Uh, I'm, I'm just giving Craig a hard time. Um, yeah, it was. It was good. It was nice to see, and I'm I'm just happy he's back. That's all. David, you know what I did not like was uh, Cabello said, listen, I spoke to Craig um, and he was willing to give that helping hand. At the end of the day, it's all about the horse and uh, that's what I enjoy. Craig's made it out to come and see this horse back into the winner's box. So just a professional from his side as well. Is Craig here for the horse or is he here for a Jägermeister? Well, he might be here for some cash as well. <laughs> no, 100%. And well done to Craig uh, for giving him uh, some tips. Craig's obviously um, ridden the horse a lot and knows the horse probably best. Um, and Cabello, I did ask him, is he, has, he, has he sat on the horse at all? He said never. So not even in uh, training or anything. So, um, but I have to say, Dice was well behaved the whole time. Uh, we expected him to be a bit of a handful before the race, which he wasn't. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm just happy. Uh, it's a team effort, you know. In this game, if we if you don't have a full team effort, you're not going to get ahead. Not at all. Well said, Davey. Well done over here. Deserve it. Thank you so much. And uh, yeah, once again to the Hudalakas clan. Thank you, guys. Uh, uh, my brother's going to uh, Scotland. Well, he's going to the UK, and then he's going to the to the rugby. Yep. He leaves this evening. Um, he might get on that plane having a few yaggies. Absolutely. Better run for the yields. Well done, Davy. Thank you so much. Good Thank stuff. You. There we go. Well done to David Shaw. He's put a lot into the sport. Evaristo, <laughs> I've been man. dying to have an interview with you. I know that uh, you're the man that obviously went over with JJ the jet plane, uh, traveled the world. And look at this horse. Very nice horse, this.
Yes, very good horses. It's a nice horse. Nice horse. He's so huge. When you're on top, you see that yeah, there is a big horse. And you looking very good. Life yeah. must be good. Yeah, it's all, it's all about the boss, the family for the wood. Alex, look after me too much. <laughs> good stuff, Everisto. 1,500 Rand. Keep up the good work. Thank you very much. There we go. Yep, that's the man that went overseas with JJ the jet plane. And a very nice sprinter over here, Dice for Davy Shaw. Well done to Lucky Udalakas. Well done to all concerned. I thought an excellent ride from Cabello Matsunyane.